the gnats and the mosquitoes are just ferocious out here. And one of our YouTubers in the comment uh, also emailed me and told me to use this concoction of essential oils. Babe, what's in here? Eucalyptus oil, orange oil, spearmint oil, lavender oil too? Lav all diluted in water. Let's see if that works. The gnats are still all around me. The spray is not effective yet. Making some good progress today on the platform. For the yurt, we're almost done with all the stilts. That's the hardest part because all these stilts had to be level. So we can either corral a bunch of horses here now or we can put uh, plywood on top of these guys once we have the blocking wood, this wood in place, and then put our yurt on top of there. We did it. Yeah. Finished with the beans. Got to get some water for the cement. I'm a professional. <laughs> I do martial arts for a living. You're gonna do that all day? Yeah. They're so close to my head.
It's the most bizarre weather pattern of all time. It's not as intense as a monsoon from the desert, but it's very weird. Hail, then sun, then cold, extreme wind. And it just has an eerie feel to it. And I love every minute of it. Bugs? Yeah. We're here trying to do work. It is hailing right now. It's hailing oh on us. God. Look, it's bouncing off the beams. Oh my God. Can the camera even pick it up? Look, <laughs> you want my hat? Look, it's bouncing this off your head. This is insane. Oh my God. Ow, it like got me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is your weapon today. Thank you, the leveler girl. We have our eye protection on because the bugs are just out of this world crazy. Relentless. Yeah, they like want to get into your eyeball. And they're getting my forehead, like my whole forehead has bites right where my hat stops. Yeah, so we need to get this geared up ASAP. Do this. Plus then this can happen and nobody can happen. Nobody gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. This is how many you've got of these. First, do you need a board? Tell me when these two, no, not yet. Tell me when these two are level. Right there. Okay, now this one. I need you to pull it back. Right there. Okay. You're looking very cute today. Thank you. You look like the actual spiritual gangster. Thanks. Wow.
Can you see the nets? They're like vampires. The apocalypse is now. Hashtag zombies. All right, so continue working down the, the line. I'd like to be everything. I discovered that you have a crazy skill that I never knew about. Mm -hmm. She is like the fastest nail pounder I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at how much she wants to win this competition. She already has all the nails in her mouth. <laughs> like freaking Hawkeye from the Avengers. <laughs> in the comments, Team Jake or Team Nicole, see who can nail our corners in the fastest. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, do I get to put mine where yours is? Mm-mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. ready, go. One ahead of me. <laughs> Don't hit your finger. Boop. God, every time she's one nail ahead of me. It's got to be the mouth technique. God, and now I'm like, come on, Jake. Under the pressure. We're, we're running out of time. <laughs> Did she just floss? No. <laughs> So we're gonna open up our mail in the back of our van. <laughs> our first mail time segment. <laughs> okay, I'm super jacked. So we gonna open the small one first? Yeah. Ooh. These are our little security knives that I want you to carry at all times on you. This is so tiny. I know. <laughs> it's made by cold steel. Wow, it does feel really nice and durable. So it's so small, but this is something you can keep in your pocket at all times, no matter yeah. what you're doing. I like it. Well, yours is like the Mac Daddy of knives. Mine is to uh, protect us, but yours is Mine's to protect like, you. <laughs> How does it feel folding it up in your switch? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's nice. If They're you so like, light. if you like mine a lot and you like that size, I'll get you one too. I'm not a knife person, and um, I'm sorry, but I just don't think that this will look good in the back of my pocket, my jeans. <laughs> But this one seems like it's a weapon, but it's also a useful tool and has like a three locking mechanism so it'll never fold on you. It's really strong. Yeah. I definitely like it. I think it's cute and uh, I like it. Mine is so that we always have um, security on us wherever we're at. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing, this guy folds out nice. Yep. And very easily. It's actually real smooth, like super smooth. My last video on Vegan Athlete was what I eat in a day. Yeah. And it's got over 10,000 views in a day, which is good for me. Not as good as your almost a million views in two weeks on your <laughs> How I Outdoor Shower video. But if you guys haven't seen that video, it's a great one. A lot of vegan people were trolling me for saying that I'm using man-made leather sheath on the machete. Man-made leather means not real leather. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Yeah. It's very difficult to find hardcore working boots or working shoes that are also not leather. Yeah. So you found them. Yeah, because in the, the town that's closest to us, we looked everywhere for some really nice work boots, but they were all leather, all of them. And we were tempted almost because there's literally nothing yeah, and hardcore. And we've been using been, tennis shoes. Tennis shoes and boots that have holes in them now. Sorry. Yeah. So we found some fake leather work boots that I am just really, really excited about. I hope they fit. I'm going to try them on right now. I know. <laughs> they don't fit. That would suck. <laughs> Aren't those the sexiest boots ever? 
and they're fake leather. No animals had to die for these shoes. Just awesome. Vegetarian shoes. So I hope these get real dirty real quick. You like it? Yeah. I think they fit really nice. Yours? I can't tell you. I gotta tighten them up. Okay, what's happening right now is that Nicole's in a race to beat me lacing her shoes up. No, she, I am not. I know you are. You can't even <laughs> not do anything without wanting to win. I don't know what you're talking about. I can tell. She's about to finish and go, I win. Look, she's looking at me. Where I'm... Dang it! <laughs> I think you look very stylish. Way better than my tennies. Yeah. For working and all that fun stuff, I need more work boots. Yeah. So. Okay. Ooh, catwalk Nicole. <laughs> how do they how do they look? How do they feel for real? They feel good. I like them. Cool. They look good on you. Yeah. I just need to break them in a little bit, but I think they're perfect. Okay, next one is the one that I'm most excited about. Yeah. My favorite company for a long, long time that I've been ordering from forever. Yeah. And I love supporting is uh, the Baker Creek Seed Company, rareseeds.com. Mm -hmm. And it was really fun ordering from them. We were still living in the van at the time and we were just laying there and we just like went through and ordered a bunch of seeds that were, we were like, oh, this would be a really good variety to grow. We're like, oh, we really need this variety. So it was actually really fun to uh, go through the catalog. How are we gonna show everybody what seeds we cut? So many seeds. There's a lot. But Baker Creek's dangerous because you always seem to go on their website to look at seeds for your garden in the spring or the fall at like midnight, one in the morning, and then you're like, oh, it's only $2 or $3 for a pack of seeds. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, $10,000 later, you put together this huge order. So be careful uh, with the Las Vegas Casino for Gardeners, which is Baker <laughs> Creek Seed Company. 